The stuff that I'm trying to explain isn't hard to understand because I'm bad at talking. I just have a hard time trying to pronunciate things while I'm speaking. That's an example of something that's the same thing, but I'm using um, the worst thing to advance my best agenda. I did that for humor and um, humility. Like I'm trying to be humble a lot. And then when someone is uh, having a good sense of humor, it doesn't actually mean that they're funny unless like you have a really good sense of humor. And um, it's more in the line of just uh, feeling comfortable with the permittability where like you're allowing you someone to do something uh, like with that goes without saying but you know when someone does says it they're all like uh collected and um they're uh what's the word smug and they'll be like humor me and so that doesn't actually mean they want to hear a joke it's that they're saying something uh to a allow like um something that would not have been commonplace and you, usually that goes without saying where only it's like um, people who are really like uh, uptight say that. So it's only seen in like a movie. But nowadays when people are trying to be like really liberal, you're probably going to hear a lot of people say uh, like humor me. But I only um, put that into example to precursor the main point of the entire uh, thesis was that hackers, it's easier to interpretate them reading between the, the not the fine lines, but, but just the, the lines in general. If you make something uh, able to see with your bare eyes, but you're trying to like decode it like Neo in the Matrix. A way that it can be done is that uh, it would, the fine lines would just be two lines and they could be uh, one of like really big and one of exceptionally small. Where in motion is nothing to be taken lightly where it can make an, a vast array of opportunity for people to have integrity. And um, when it comes to like a mirror and um, B photo op, and when it comes to a mirror, um, it's really special to have the um, the different B photo up to have the different um, motion of the uh, someone in motion and a fixed object. It's right as staples for two over accentuations that would give uh, a clear value of an estimation for a price point and argument for the people to have a say for how safe it is and then tax them for any potholes or bad architectural design that were made um you know because it's theirs so the public would get to like test it and make measurements and if they didn't like it tax the town hall and get the farmers market more space to do stuff um, from the taxing of the poor architecture if it was rushed or not quick enough whereas the science of reality would have it us being a cornerstone for existence Given the fact that I think signs are so important that they give designations in a design much equal to, it's undeniable that the sun achieves a certain uh, schematic of what is called the golden hour each day. By design, when it gets lower, it turns more orange illuminating an effect 
of things reflection of gold off of it. This isn't by chance or by choice, it simply is designated as a schematic every single day. And that's where some- I don't mean to like look out I'm an advocate. It's just that there's so many signs that are broken and they're not even put up right. And then that's why I'm on the town planners so bad. And I can't talk about town planners unless I mention how bad the agriculture needs them to be put into consideration because they've got that part all messed up because everything has been squeezed so tightly together in the center of the town that they try to put the farmer's market in the center of the town and it's put up almost as a joke the way that the town planner has everything to a farmer's market in the center of a town. And I don't feel like disgruntled in saying something that I should be happy with something that's already been established. Just because like everything didn't crumble and turn into a pile of ugliness doesn't mean that it's any verification that the Homeland Security gets a pat on the back. There's some garbage monkeys. It's like, what's worse, a known outage or getting blindsided by a blackout? I think that a known outage is worse because even if they're equal, it's a belittling that you would have had a chance to know about it and it still happened. Like a shadow reaches out to another shadow if they're close together because the umbra and the prenumbra um, always try to coincide just as magnets when the magnetic fields are induced when the opposite ends are close enough they'll actually pull uh, from a distance the physical material which is a great representation again with when they clack together the kinematics is uh, in simpatico with the magnetic field And so within like the metal liquid, it's the spikes are induced from just, it's not the, that the magnetic field is pulsing, that's constant. It's just, if you have a second magnet on top and you're moving it around, the metal liquid would be spiking from the breaching of the thresh point of each of the little tiny metallic shavings, those are peaking. And that's in comparison to like an entire object, if it has buoyancy and then it falls off of a platform under it, that's the same threshold met on top of each of the spikes that are pulsing upwards and instead of like a splash pattern from the liquid it's just um showing as spikes as the relation of the conductivity from the thing above it moving around producing each of the spikes to peak in an interaction as the wave is changing course of the magnet on top changing different thresh points and that's what the pulse of the spikes going up and down are calculating as but it's a visual representation so it would be almost equal if you had a whole bunch of water balloons and were continuously making splash patterns with them is the same schematic of the waving of a magnet on top of it and the spikes uh, pulsing about the magnetic base that it's enveloped over because it's liquid, it can cover the surface. 
And you might not like what I just said about if you question something exuberant, you won't be able to buy or sell. Whereas that's more of the case where things are closing left and right, slowly but surely, it gets watered down and sugar coated in order just to have the ability to operate. When you're slow and then you make a mistake, the ethics board is something, and that's just for you to be compliant to them as if they're more superior. If you question something so spectacular that it would be um, somewhat unethical and once again the ethics board would decide just exactly how exuberant your question was. I hate when people say they're vegan because I love cheese but I'm vegetarian so I hate eggs and all the baked goods have eggs in them so I can't eat them unless they're graham crackers. <laughs>